What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with episode 22 of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by, well, it was actually submitted by about 12 people in the last video, and that topic is multiplayer. Now I've been holding off on doing multiplayer, just because we don't really know a lot about it yet, it's the one thing that Rockstar is keeping hush hush about, and they said that they're gonna finally open up about it in the coming days or weeks, so I was actually gonna wait until Rockstar officially released some information to talk about it, but you guys want it now. So today we're going to talk about multiplayer, what I hope to see, what I like about multiplayer, multiplayer, and what I think it should be in Grand Theft Auto 5. So to start off as always, let me talk about the multiplayer in Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 was for me the first game to experience any interaction with other players. Any Grand Theft Auto that I played before that, it was only me and that's it. So when I got into Grand Theft Auto 4 and I started playing it online, it was very, very fun. You know, you, you beat the main story mode, you drive around the city alone, you, you wreak havoc, do what you do. But then, when you run out of things to do, you can go to the online mode. And the online mode is almost like a secondary game. There is so much in the online, from the race mode, to team deathmatch, to all that good stuff. I mean, there's really a lot to do online. Um, for, for example, this is just a quick story. I was at work the other day, and my friend was like, Hey, John, do you own any racing games? And I was like, well, I don't actually own any racing games, but I have Grand Theft Auto 4, and that has a race mode online, which is pretty much a racing game in itself. I mean, when you really think about it, that is almost a fully fleshed out racing game, because you have all the cars to choose from, and yeah, you can't really customize them, but it really allows you to experience a racing type of game. So that was really cool. So the point I'm trying to make is that the online mode and multiplayer in Grand Theft Auto games has become immensely popular, I think, to all of us, even if it was only Free Roam. Uh, free Roam was countless hours of fun, from the swing set glitch with other people to just running around and harassing people every time they spawn, just trucking them with a, a semi-truck, you know, just running people over, whatever it is that you'd like to do. Team up with other people and, you know, take down the bully in the lobby. You know, we've all been in those cases where there's one guy who's a complete dick and we had a vengeance on him. <laughs> so, that was what multiplayer was for me in um, Grand Theft Auto 4. But now in Grand Theft Auto 5, I am glad to hear that Rockstar is saying that this will be the best multiplayer experience to date. Like, that that really excites me. That gives me a huge Grand Theft Auto boner. Um, <laughs> I'm just being totally honest here, people. For me, as I said, uh, multiplayer was the thing that had me, you know, keep going back to Grand Theft Auto 4. And the fact that it's gonna be even better in Grand Theft Auto 5 really excites me. So now, regarding the whole multiplayer thing, I'm going to talk about um, an idea that was brought up a few times, once again by multiple people, and that was having custom garages for cars online. Now, uh, meaning that, you know, car customization is in GTA 5, but now what we want to see is, we want to see us be able to take our customized car and bring it online and show it off, you know, j just show off our tricked out car to people around the world saying, hey, look what I got. So what would be really cool is if Rockstar had us, you know, if they gave us a virtual garage, you know, I don't expect actual property where it's like, hey, this is my house and my garage, but a quote unquote garage where we could upload our customized cars to the multiplayer experience and in race mode, maybe have like a customized car race match. Or maybe just free roam, and you could just drive your customized car around like a madman. I think that would be really cool. And I kind of hope that we might see something like that. And really, I think that we might. Um, as for game modes now, here's, here's what I want to see. I want to see all of our beloved modes return. All of our beloved game types. Things like free mode. Obviously, free mode was awesome in GTA 4. Imagine it now in Grand Theft Auto 5 with the huge map with planes, with all the new vehicles, with the whole new environment, with underwater and submarines, imagine how cool free mode is going to be. Now that for sure is going to make a comeback. Rockstar is not dumb. They're not going to take out the best online game type those in GTA 4. So that's, that's coming back for sure. Another thing that needs fixed or updated is, of course, Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch. Like in Grand Theft Auto 4, it was just so bad that I didn't play it. The, just the whole interface for it, the shooting mechanics were terrible. At least we know that the shooting mechanics in GTA 5 are being upgraded, but for me in Grand Theft Auto 4, it felt delayed, you know, trying to aim, like you see me shooting right now, to, to shoot quickly and like, to aim to a new place, like, you know, to turn to the left and shoot someone in the head, it's not like a 
you know, like Call of Duty or Halo. It didn't feel like that. It felt laggy, it felt slow, it felt clumsy, and it, I just felt like I didn't have any control. So, hopefully Deathmatch comes back better than ever. And in addition to all of that, I want to see race mode fleshed out even more. I want to see it made even better, because I found that, as I said before, race mode really was a lot of fun for me. I want to see them add just new things to it that really take it to the next level. I want to see cops and crooks return, but I want to see it return better once again. Just because in crops, <laughs> crops, cops and crooks, it was hard to get your team to cooperate. It was hard to even get an organized game going. Like, I, I, I don't know. I guess the online experience as a whole in GTA 4 was kind of a mess with the the multiplayer lobbies, you know, um, I'm used to playing games like Halo where the online experience is really just completely fluid and flawless, you know, you have this lobby that you can meet up with your friends in and then you join matchmaking and it's so perfect. In Grand Theft Auto 4, in my opinion, the the user interface for the online experience was kind of terrible, um, <laughs> I'm just being blunt, um, we really just need a better way to connect with friends and bring the online experience just closer to us and make it better. At this point, I'm just gonna keep going with my ideas here, even though I am out of gameplay footage until I record more, I'm gonna have to do that soon. But by all means, if you're enjoying the video, please keep on watching. But anyways, I also want to see new game types added. Like I said, with the addition of planes and dirt bikes, they should add dirt bike races, like plane races, and maybe even dog fights. Uh, for those of you who don't know, dog fights are basically plane fights. They're fights that happen in the air with guns attached to your planes, like in World War II and whatnot, there were dog fights. So things like that, you know. And I also heard a really cool idea where, um, on a GTA forum somewhere, some guy said that there should be a last man standing kind of mode, where everybody spawns, you know, in a random spot on the map, and the only goal is to stay alive and kill everyone else around you, and to be the final person alive on the map. And once you die, you'll be migrated to a new lobby, or you'll be given the option to stay and spectate the rest of the match. But there, I don't know how they would really work that out. Um, you couldn't have player icons on the entire map. Maybe once you get in, you know, like within 400 feet of somebody, their player icon appears, and then that's when you have to kill them. So it would definitely be a long game mode. It would take a long time, but it might be really fun. So guys, I'm gonna stop the video here. Please uh, tell me what you think of my ideas, and please, of course, give me your ideas. What new game modes would you like to see appear in GTA 5? What game modes would you like to see improved? What do you think of the online experience as a whole? I would love to know, so please tell me. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Please stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto 5 in the future. Keep submitting your topic ideas, and I will see you next time. See ya.